Hey everybody, Mr. Troy here. Quick video on uh, how to write equations of lines using point-slope form. In your Algebra 1 class, you probably learned either one of these as point-slope form. What you're going to need to write in point-slope form is any one point. So in this case, I'm going to use 10 comma negative 6 and the slope between the two lines. So remember the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or delta y, the change in y over delta x. So negative 6 minus 7 over 10 minus 3, negative 13 sevenths. So the change in y to get from 7 to negative 6 is down 13. The change in x to get from 3 to 10 is over 7. So this is the more traditional form of point-slope form. So in that case, we would do y minus negative 6 equals negative 13 sevenths, that's the slope, times x minus 10. If we were going to write it in the other form, it would look very, very similar. But the difference here is that this constant term is moved over to the other side. So an intermediate step here would be to say, well, that's really y plus 6. And then move that plus 6 over to the other side. The reason people like this form as opposed to the more traditional form is that this is very similar to vertex form of a quadratic or an absolute value, that sort of thing, okay? If you are asked to change this into slope-intercept form, you would, of course, have to distribute I always get nervous when I'm doing my fractions that I'm going to do them incorrectly. So negative uh, 13 times negative 10 is 130. And then negative 6 is negative 42 sevenths, just because I have to give them the same denominator. All right, so that would be y equals negative 13 sevenths x plus 88 sevenths. All right, hope that's helpful.